Changing a string on a lever hop can be a task that makes you feel uneasy if it's something you don't do often. This is a quick reference video created as much as a reminder for myself as to help anyone else in the same position with a quick reminder on how to change a string. We will be using a DHC36 lever harp in this video. Step 1. Find out which string you need. You will need to get the same gauge, that is a thickness, of string which you are replacing. They often have the note and the number of the string. If you are in any doubt, refer to your manufacturer. They often have a shop where you can buy one. Step 2. If your previous string has snapped, remove the broken string. You may wish to keep the anchor of the string, in my case, a wooden dowel. Some people use the thicker strings cut up to a suitable size as an anchor. Step 3. Tying the knot. This is the step I often have to remind myself of each time I replace a string. First, make a simple loop at one end of the string. Make sure you leave a bit of the string out of the loop. I live about half a thumb's worth. Hold the base of the loop firmly and twist the loop. Then place the half a thumb's worth of string that you left earlier back through the loop. Grab your anchor and place it through the loop. Grab both ends of the loop and tighten it until it is secure. For extra security to prevent slippage, you may wish to make another loop and wrap it around the anchor and tighten, depending on which string it is. I highly recommend doing this. Step 4. Thread the string back through the hole. Pull the string all the way up through the hole at the bottom and up through to the hole in the tuning pin at the top. Make sure you remember to put the string over the bridge. Step 5. Wrapping the string around the tuning pin. Grab your tuning key and put it to the back of the correct tuning pin. With the hole for the tuning pin going from up to down, turn the key 90 degrees. Then take the loose end of the string and pull it up and round the tuning pin and then down and behind the string on the other side of the tuning pin. Hold the end taut and then start to tighten using your tuning key. Keep an eye on your winding. It can sometimes have a habit of undoing itself as you tighten, especially at the early stages. Wind it until it is secure.
Step 6 Cut string Once securely wound, cut the loose end of the string. You can use sharp scissors for this, or I prefer to use nail clippers, because there isn't much space in the area. If you're lucky, you may have enough string left to repeat the process in the future. Tune your string as normal, and you're done.